Behold, the submarine, but where did it come from? Meet Cornelius Drebbel, born in the Netherlands in 1572. Cornelius was born into a landowning family, but he wasn't some idle aristocrat. At a young age, he became an apprentice to a well-known engraver and alchemist named Hendrik Goltzius. Cornelius married and started a family, but he didn't settle for a life as an engraver. Other people caught wind of his experiments with optic lenses and telescopes, and by 1604, King James I of England invited Cornelius to the English court, where he worked on a number of inventions. Cornelius proved to be an amazing inventor, but of all of his inventions, one is clearly the stuff of genius. The Submarine Cornelius wasn't the first person to think of a submersible boat. William Bourne designed a submarine in 1578, but never built it. Beginning in 1620, Cornelius built a series of submarines, each bigger than the last. Cornelius's submarines don't look much like modern subs. They were built of wood and leather and powered by oars. Cornelius was secretive, and he didn't leave many details of his design, but experts think he anticipated several problems with submarines. Since boats don't naturally submerge, Cornelius probably used a system of water pumps or ballasts to raise and submerge the vessel. In his famous underwater row from Westminster to Greenwich, he also heated saltpeter, emitting oxygen in an attempt to freshen the air. The submarine technology was astonishing, but the English army decided it had no real military value. More than 300 years later, submarines have become crucial tools for research, exploration, and military forces around the world.